welcome everybody to our uh, meeting overview tonight so we could talk a little bit about what the excitement is and uh, we want to welcome everybody to uh, our team call we're called the go team which is global opportunities together everyone achieves more and uh, that's how we work as a team and uh, we do all that we can to help one another build our business as well as help as many people as possible uh, to get their gut right um, because it's a situation, as you're going to learn tonight, that the I, I've been looking at a couple other, um, you see ads on TV, different things come up, makes you kind of get inquisitive and look around. And uh, it gets to the point is the more you learn about the gut microbiome, um, my wife will tell you, I've spent the last couple of days, I'm just engrossed in, on the internet learning about this, this microbiome, what it's all about. And... Um, we think that when you learn, uh, know half of what we know, you'll be twice as excited as us because it's just very exciting news. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we'll uh, get started. So the name of our company, as of December 1, will be the Love Biome Company, the microbiome company. And uh, currently we're still under our old name called Go Love Life. And the reason that we uh, decided to change the company name was a couple of reasons, and one was that there was a uh, television commercial uh, for a company called Golo, and we were hearing, uh, I don't know what they do, their commercial doesn't tell you what they do, when you look at their website, it doesn't really tell you a whole lot, uh, it's some sort of product that they're selling, uh, that talks about energy and stuff like that, but we had a lot of people saying, oh yeah, we, we saw your ad on TV, and we didn't want anybody to confuse us with them, so we thought that, and really, uh, Go Love Life doesn't really encapsulate what we're all about, where we felt that Love Biome, Love uh, talks about what we are as a people and as a company. Uh, we do care about people. And uh, yeah, you know, to us, if you help enough other people get what they want and need, you'll have everything you want and need. And so it's not just about the money. There's more important things in life than money. And then the biome is uh, this uh, uh, biotic, uh, um, the microbiota is the bacteria that's in our life, in our body. And it's a situation where when you learn about it, it it's mind boggling. And what's really cool is you'll hear in a video tonight, this ain't new information. We didn't invent this stuff. <laughs> so let me tell you a little bit about the company and why we're excited to be with these guys. Uh, this is our founders. Uh, the gentleman on the left, his name's Kelly Olson. He is the CEO. He was a, a, a co-founder of uh, another company that uh, he helped start back in 1996. I started with that company in 2000. And so then I was with them for over 20 years. And the real reason in my situation, the real reason that I got involved with uh, uh, this company is because of these three guys. The guy in the middle, he's the president of America's, that's Sean Whitney. And then the guy on the right, his name is Cody Day. And he is our chief operating officer. And the three of them together, uh, you know, when you, when you get ready to, you know, sometimes it's hard to get too all in with a company, especially if they're new and you don't know really who's running. It's a little experimentation. I, I remember the first uh, network marketing company I was in was a telecom company. And I think my first check was like $4.50. And to be quite honest, I was tickled to death when I got it because I knew it was real. Because <laughs> you were, you know, is this going to be real? And so, uh, and I get that. If you're new to this type of an industry or new to these guys where you might feel that way, and that's fine. Don't make you a bad person. But I, I want to put you at ease because this company is not an experiment. As a matter of fact, the other uh, members of the team, the co-founders of the company, these five, all worked with the other three for over 20 years and they got over 20 years together. So you'll hear statistics out there uh, for startup companies uh, that you know 98% of them are gone within 18 months to five years. And I don't doubt that that is true, but this is not a startup company. What they're doing now, they've done before, uh, they've made records with the other company that they're all with together before. And now they've just uh, found something that is much broader base in its effectiveness. And uh, we are currently uh, in 32 countries around the world. 
and we started February 2nd of this year. So I don't know where you're going to go to find a company that's eight, nine months old and to have that kind of growth. Uh, and it's, a, it's just remarkable. And the main reason is you're going to learn is because this product works. It does what they say it'll do. And that's why it's growing so fast. So I want to start off tonight with a video that uh, it's all third party. Okay, this, uh, this company didn't come up with this video. They uh, found these uh, scientists and stuff on the internet. One of the things you're going to hear me say a lot is do your research. You owe it to you to learn about what we're talking about tonight. We're going to give you some documentation, give you some ideas and thoughts where you can go to look to learn more and do it. it I mean, it means your health for you and your family. So it's a situation where you owe it to yourself to learn all that you can learn. So this is what the experts have to say when it comes to the gut microbiome. It, it's amazing. So please pay careful attention. Trillions of bacteria, viruses, and fungi live on or inside of us, and maintaining a good, balanced relationship with them is to our advantage. Together, they form the gut microbiome, a rich ecosystem that performs a variety of functions in our bodies. The bacteria in our guts can break down food the body can't digest, produce important nutrients, regulate the immune system, and protect against harmful germs. How many of you guys know who Hippocrates is? Have you all heard of him? He's an awesome guy, right? 3,000 years ago, he said, all disease begins in the gut. And now that's an idea that time has come back. It's come around. And so as a clinician, I always look at gut health first, no matter what. If our guts aren't functioning, if our digestive system isn't functioning well, nothing else will. Well. I'm here to talk to you about what I think is the most important organ, and that is the gut microbiome. So for those of you who don't know what the gut microbiome is, it's everything from your mouth to your colon, from entry to exit, all the bits in between. So your stomach, your small intestine, your large intestine, and all of the little critters that live in there. So bacteria, fungi, viruses, and cells, there are trillions of these little critters that are living in there. And we'll talk about this a little bit more later, but diversity is so important in the gut. And then all of a sudden, I started hearing about the good bugs. And I go, what's that? And as we begin to look at the actual genetics, this was the breakthrough that allowed us to actually understand our microbiome Microbes we acquire or do not acquire affect our likelihood of developing diseases like obesity, diabetes, and even some cancers. Now, microbes are also really important in the field of medicine. So, for example, what microbes you have in your gut uh, determine whether particular painkillers are toxic to your liver. They also determine whether or not other drugs will work for your heart condition. As our bodies have been adapting to life in modern society, we're losing some of our normal microbes. And at the same time, there are quite a few diseases related to the gut that are skyrocketing in developed nations all around the world. So why is it important to have a healthy gut? Well, it's really important for long-term health. So if you have a healthy gut, you're going to feel more energetic. You're going to get sick less often. You're going to have better mental clarity and ultimately have better emotional well-being. Versus if you don't have a healthy gut, a lot of research is showing that this is related to things like autoimmune conditions, diabetes, neurodegenerative disorders like Alzheimer's, and even emotional issues like anxiety and depression. So microbes are performing a huge range of functions. They help us digest our food, uh, they help educate our immune system, they help us resist the disease, and they may even be affecting our behavior. Our health is severely influenced by many other factors like our lifestyle, our diet, and our fellow microbes. 100 trillion cells, one and 14 zeros. That's the approximate number of microorganisms in your body. 10 times greater than the number of your own cells. Your microbial baggage occupies almost 2% of your body weight. That's about one and a half kilos. Approximately the weight of your liver or your brain, and all these are microbes. 
Just think about it for a second. Human microbiome, that's the modern term for all microbial communities inhabiting your body, has earned a close attention over the last decade. It seems that we are only beginning to discover the mysterious role that is given to microbes in the performance of our health. Our, our biome describes 90% of all the cells. We're only 10%. Really, we are more we are more microbial than we are human. So we have 10 times the amount of microbial cells than we have human cells. So that stands to reason that we are bacteria learning how to be human. It has been already shown in several studies that gut microbiota composition is associated to weight as well as the likelihood developing diseases like diabetes or cardiovascular diseases. Like most of life, it's about a balance. And when they do not get, are not balanced, we call it a dysbiosis. When that begins to happen, we find that it starts causing diseases. You know the word irritable bowel syndrome. Some of you may actually have it. You know, diarrhea, constipation, abdominal cramps, all these kind of things. You know about colitis. You've heard of people that have colitis. These kinds of things are when there is a dysbiosis. There's an imbalance between the good bugs and the bad bugs. So I mentioned that microbes have all these important functions, and they've also, been, they've also now, just over the past few years, been connected to a whole range of different diseases, uh, including inflammatory bowel disease, uh, heart disease, colon cancer, and even obesity. Obesity has a really large effect, as it turns out, and today we can tell whether you're lean or obese with 90% accuracy by looking at the microbes in your gut. So that's amazing, right? What it means is that the three pounds of microbes that you carry around with you may be more important for some health conditions than every single gene in your genome. So what are some simple things that you can do to help improve your gut? Well, one, we've talked about changing your diet. In one recent microbiome study, scientists found that fruits, vegetables, tea, coffee, red wine, and dark chocolate were correlated with increased bacterial diversity. These foods contain polyphenols, which are naturally occurring antioxidant compounds. And then lastly, targeted supplementation. I'm not saying to take lots of different supplements. I'm saying if there's certain things that your body needs, you might actually take a supplement. So the next time that you're lying on the couch, feeling lethargic and not sure why, or you're sick for the fifth time in a year, listen to your gut. And if you have happy bugs, you're going to be a healthy person. Thank you very much. So that's straight from the mouths of experts. So they think it's pretty interesting. And they, how, when you research this, all the things you just heard, you're going to see it time and time again by, on various uh, medical sites, scientific sites. The things that they said, it's what they all say. Uh, like the fact that there's a hundred trillion uh, microbiota in your body and uh, with about uh, only 10% of that number in actual human cells. So it's, a, it's very, very interesting. I, when I first heard that one lady say that, you know, we're technically we're bacteria learning how to be human. Um, the, the more study you find, that, that's exactly what's going on. Now, of course, a, a human cell is much larger in size than these microbiota cells, and that's why it only makes up three pounds of our total weight is this microbiota. But you got to learn all you can learn. Now, did you catch the point that Hippocrates talked about this? It was 3,000 years ago that he brought it up. So it's not new. But as the one scientist said, it's something today that's becoming uh, more widely known about. Well, let me show you how much more widely known about. Anybody ever heard of the Today Show? Well, here's a doctor that was releasing a book about the microbiome on the Today Show. Time for a gut check, and by that we mean literally what is in your gut. It affects everything from your mood to your immunity to your metabolism. Dr. Roshni Raj is a gastroenterologist and author of a new book. It's called Gut Renovation, Unlock the Age-Defying Power of the Microbe to Remodel Your Health from the Inside Out. Dr. Raj, I think the gut is something that doesn't get enough attention, and it does affect every part of your body. Every single part from head to toe, and that's why I wrote this book, because I've always been fascinated by our microbiome that can 
community yeah. of bacteria and organisms that affect everything from head to toe. But there's been an explosion in the last few years on the research on really what are the mechanisms behind it. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the last couple of years during a pandemic, yes. all the good habits went by the wayside. But how can we tell if something's yeah. going on there? Well, you know, you're going to start potentially with some digestive symptoms, right? So bloating or irregularity in the bathroom. But actually, it might be things you might not think about, like brain fog or just feeling tired and listless, not having energy or just a low mood. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, the gut can affect everything from your brain to your energy to your muscles, all of it. I'm so happy to be You here. can catch uh, Dr. Raj's book, Gut Renovation, at today.com slash shop. So it's, the information is becoming more and more widespread. But now that she talked about some pretty interesting things there about leaky gut and uh, constipation, all these different things that aren't very exciting subjects. But again, it's good to know this. I'm going to show you another doctor, but he has a very good handle and way of explaining of what's going on in your gut, why it affects so many different systems. Here are two kinds of nuts. So, what's the difference? On one hand, pistachios are bursting with fiber and minerals and are fantastic for supporting healthy digestion. Almonds also have healthy fats and vitamins. But unlike pistachios, they have a dangerous compound hiding inside them that can cancel out those benefits. See, almonds contain an anti-nutrient called lectins. Just like gluten, lectins can seriously mess up digestion and your absorption of critical nutrients. I know that there's something wrong. They're eating healthier than ever, and yet they're sicker than ever. And do you think it's stoppable through diet? Yes. Really? Yes. Specifically, my research showed that many of the conditions I was treating, weight gain, poor circulation, deteriorating health, heart issues, even mental decline, they were all starting in a place nobody was talking about, the gut. My first hint that our intestinal tracts were far more important than people thought actually came when I was performing heart surgery back in the 1980s. Back then, I used to see a lot of people with plaque blockages in their arteries from years of smoking cigarettes. But usually, when we were bypassing the blockage, the rest of a smoker's arteries were perfectly clean. But as the years went by, I started seeing fewer smokers and more people with diabetes, high insulin levels, and obesity, which, as you may know, are all correlated with poor gut health. When we performed heart surgery on these people, it was far worse than the smokers' arteries. Their arteries were riddled with plaque blockages. We could barely find a blood vessel that was healthy. The surgeries, while successful, became far more difficult. I couldn't believe it. Literally, people who had smoked cigarettes every day of their lives had healthier hearts than people who were suffering from conditions associated with an unhealthy GI tract. So I began dedicating all of my research to learning everything I could about intestinal health. We all knew that poor intestinal health could lead to digestive discomfort, constipation, irritable bowels, and heartburn. But how could a malfunctioning gut lead to problems with your skin, your weight, your energy, your joints, your heart, and even your brain? Back then, nobody was asking the question. But today, thanks to years of research, we finally have the answer. You see, our GI tracts are very long. In fact, if you stretch your intestines out, they'd have more surface area than an entire tennis court. But they're also very thin. The lining of your intestines is actually just one cell thick, which is basically the thinnest thing that you can imagine. The gut walls need to be this thin because they act like high-tech sponges, sucking up all the nutrients and vitamins from the food you eat, and sending the good stuff throughout your body. What's left over becomes food for your gut bacteria, which we refer to as your microbiome. They grow and make more bacteria. And what you deposit in the toilet as poop is, well, mostly loads of living and dead bacteria. So in short, this is how your gut works. You eat food. Your intestinal walls absorb the good stuff from the food, and what's left over gets eaten by your microbiome, which you then get rid of when you go to the bathroom. And when your gut is healthy, these gut walls do their job great turning food into energy and getting rid of the poop smoothly and cleanly like a brand new drain pipe in your bathroom. But here's the problem. Because these gut walls are so thin, they can sometimes tear. And certain things are especially good at causing tears. The worst of these are called lectins. Lectins are sharp, nasty little proteins found in certain kinds of food. Lectins, think back to your bathroom now. Imagine you started flushing sharp nails down the toilet. Maybe you could flush one or two and be okay, but if you flushed handfuls of rusty nails for days or weeks, after a while they would scrape little holes in your pipes. Pretty soon, little bits of dirty water will start leaking out of the pipe into your walls, your floors, even your house's foundation. I know, this sounds pretty gross, but you need to hear it. Because unfortunately, 
our GI tracts can develop leaks in the exact same way. This is what I and a growing number of experts now refer to as leaky gut. Lectins and other bad guys tearing holes in your gut lining, allowing tiny particles of poop to leak out into your bloodstream. And once this happens, you can start to see why leaky gut can cause so many health problems. Once they get into your bloodstream, these dirty particles storm across your entire body like an invading horde. If these toxins get into your joints, they can cause aches and pain. If they get into your skin, they can cause itchiness, redness, acne, and rashes. If they get into your upper GI tract, they can cause heartburn and indigestion. And do you know the worst part? To your brain, all of these terrible things are perceived as attacks on your body, the same as if you have a virus. So your brain goes on high alert to threat level red to stop these attacks, sending white blood cells to fix the problem, which it can do for a while, but your brain just can't stay on threat level red all day, every day. Pretty soon, the cells that protect your brain from attack start to wear down. And when these glial cells in your brain are strained too hard, they actually cause your brain cells to expire. I probably don't have to tell you what happens when your brain cells stop working. Headaches, brain fog, and losing your mental sharpness are just the first signs of damage. But if these toxins are left to rampage through your body for months or even years, the damage can be far, far worse. If the thought of these health issues keep you up at night, as they do many of us, do they not? And so I think between these, of course, I didn't show the whole videos of all these because we don't have the time. But I think it helps you to get the point that there's a reason for all the health issues that we're having. And it boils down to your gut health. And guess what? There's a solution as well. And what this company has done is done research now for over three years of trying to figure out what are the things that's available to us here on earth that the creator made, that it's a situation that can help us with our gut microbiome. And we call it two sips and a scoop. It's our daily three products. It's two liquid supplements and one powder and you use all three of them each day. And it can help with uh, what's going on in your gut because it helps this bacteria get balanced. And as the, you heard the scientists talking about, that's the key is balance. So when you ask people about that are, you know, health conscious, you know, they, they, most of them have three questions that they have in their mind. And that, is there a beginning to good health? Is there just one thing that I can do today and then every day that'll really make a difference? Is there one idea that's foundational to achieving optimal health? And yes, the answer is very simply put, yes. It's about the gut microbiome. It's the center of good health. There's actually uh, the vagal nerve that runs from the brain to the gut. And as that one uh, scientist was talking about, it's a two-way communication. The gut and the brain actually uh, speak to each other. And that's why when you hear people say, I have a gut feeling, that's literal. It's not a figment of speech. That's actually literal. So what we want to do is encourage you to make sure that you learn all you can about this microbiome. Because knowing this information is what's going to make it very easy for you to see the importance of the daily three system. Um, most of the people on this call tonight ever invited you, you need to get with them so they can tell you what it's done for them. And the thing that you know, astounded me was that most people that we share this product with, there, it doesn't take days, weeks, and months to get results. Well, days is more like it, not weeks and months. Uh, two, three days is usually all it takes. And you start to sleep better. You start to um, bowel movements get better. Energy levels go up. These are things that happen very, very quickly. And it's because of getting this gut balanced. So let's talk about the plants. Enough. There's really four areas that uh, of plants and uh, herbs and spices, teas that help uh, the gut. The garden is one place. Remote areas of the earth is where super fruits come from. Then the exotic markets. This is spices, herbs, teas, things like that. And then the ancient sources, the stuff that's been used for a millennium of uh, ancient wisdom and food sources that uh, help people, such as uh, the noni fruit that we happen to know quite a bit about. So the garden, when you think about the garden, the, these are phytonutrient. You're going to hear when you do your research, you'll hear these couple of terms. One is called phytonutrients. 
And that, that, if you notice, that sounds almost like photo. And that's because it has to do with the light and the color. And then the uh, another word you're here is polyphenols. The polyphenols are uh, an, an ingredient that is in the gut and comes from food. And, the, and once it gets in the gut, it's what helps balance the gut. So when you start research, you'll see some of these words pop up frequently. Of course, you can Google the word itself. and It'll give you a, a very accurate definition. So the garden is going to provide us with a food that will help enhance the microbiota that is in your gut. Then you have the remote sources that we talked about. You have noni, star fruit. These are all known as superfruits. The superfruit era, if you will, actually started back in 1996 with the discovery of noni fruit, which grows prolifically throughout the world, but predominantly in French Polynesia, uh, in Sri Lanka, uh, the people that were migrating from there into the French Polynesian islands you know, four or 500 years ago, uh, they always carried this plant with them in their canoes. And that's why for a century or two, uh, this noni was uh, called the canoe fruit because they all carried it in their canoe. And noni, if you don't know it already, is a Tahitian word. And it actually means a gift from God. The botanical name for that fruit is called Marinda citrifolia. And it is the backbone of our liquid supplements, along with these other um, superfruits that we're talking about that all have a beneficial effect for the microbiome. The healing herbs and spices, oregano. I didn't know oregano uh, was something that helped our gut the way it is. I'd heard about turmeric and cayenne pepper, garlic, those things, and how it can benefit the human body. But now when you start learning about the microbiome, you understand why they help the body. And then you have the ancient civilization foods, you know, quinoa, barley, bulgur wheat, uh, these things. Um, my wife and I, we know some people that are from uh, Western Europe, if you will, and they, um, they know about these plants and they use them in their, in their daily food source and didn't really realize that it was all about the gut microbiome. They just know, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, wives tales and ancient stories about how these grains and that can help the human body. So color is really key. Color is the secret to life. It really is. And when you talk about our phytopower uh, product, this power, phytopower is all about the colors. And so this is pretty interesting because, you know, 76% of humans don't get enough blue and purple foods uh, in their diet. And, it, you know, how important it is, it? well, neurological health, skin protection, breast health, anti-inflammatory, anti-diabetic, red foods, the red foods, 74% of us don't get enough of it. Uh, what does it help with? How about your heart health? Pancreas said, again, is diabetes, eye health. And uh, I was just, as I mentioned earlier, the eye, I've been diagnosed with onset glaucoma. So I was like, wow, I, I wonder if the microbiota has something to do with that. Yeah, it does. And so the microbiome, again, is something that affects from the head to the toe, as you heard that doctor say on the Today Show. Green foods, and I'll let you, that's all we hear nowadays is about people changing their diet and getting more green foods. Still 69% of us aren't getting enough of it. 80% of us don't get enough of the yellow and orange foods. But our phytopower uh, um, product, along with the two supplements, you get all of these there. Now, the next thing that we had discovered was called red light fermentation. We've learned that uh, fermented foods like noni, turmeric, things like that, if it's uh, subject to this red light of fermentation, it actually enhances the microbial um, uh, fermentation process in these foods. And it increases it, uh, this, these polyphenols, which are vital for the microbiota, by 25%. So really, it's like, a, a lack of a better term, it's noni perfected. And so this red light fermentation is something that allows, and this is the base fruit in our two liquid supplements, along with all the other ones that we had talked about. Well, you know, what do we know about how safe this stuff is? Well, because of the science and all the years that we have in noni prior even to this company, we know a lot about this. We're really the authority on these particular super fruits and how they can help the gut microbiome. But they're all safe. 
Did you know that we actually have scientific research that so shows that this product is safe for a newborn infant up to a liter a day? And uh, you'll be able to see some of the little something, a little secret for you that you'll see later. So here's the ingredients that's in our next balance. So next, we call it next because it's a simple name and it's the next level or the next uh next level up of the best type of super fruit juices that can be found. And here's a list of them. And then so you can imagine how these different things uh, can help the gut microbiome. Now, when we first started doing this research, we actually found over 400 fruits, vegetables, teas, herbs, and spices that could have been used that have a beneficial effect on the gut microbiome. But then we learned that some of them fight each other. They don't work symbiotically. So that was the next step that we had to do. We had to scientifically come to the realization of which of these uh, fruits, vegetables, spices, teas, and these things work together harmoniously so that, that that's why we're getting the benefits that we're getting. Here's the next detox. Uh, now the de And by the way, how do I take this stuff? Just get it in you. Uh, I put all three of them together because I'm not real good at remembering what I did you know, did I take that after one, noon, one, one? I put them all three together. I take them. Some people like doing the balance in the morning and then doing the phyto powder and smoothie later on in the day and then doing the detox before I go to bed. Great. That's why you want to do it. Do it. Ever how you want to do it, whatever works for you. The point, the most important factor is all three every day. Don't miss a day. Well, why, why can't I miss a day? It's your gut. Your gut microbiome, have you ever noticed that you eat one crazy thing and it messes your gut up? Well, when you don't take your daily three, you increase the chances of messing your gut up. But now here's the phytopower. Look at the ingredients in this. Here's your four blends of the colors that we showed you. Remember we talked about uh, the garden, the various aspects of where we these fruits, vegetables, how important they are. Well, here's where they come from or where they are in the phytopower. And this is where your prebiotic. Oh, because I take probiotic, Mike. Well, that's great. When you take the probiotic, guess how much of it makes it to your intestinal tract? Almost none because your stomach acid will eat it up. Then what does make it there? Guess what happens to the probiotic then? It's a living bacteria. It has to eat. Do you remember in the video how that one doctor said? So what happens is the good, the body goes through the, um, the cell wall and then it sucks up the good vitamins and that, and then whatever is waste, that's called prebiotic. That's what the, what the probiotic gets to eat. And then there's another thing that you can investigate as long as you're on your research curve is uh, the postbiotic and what value that it has for the human body. Like I said, we don't have time to go through it all with you today, but what, here's what it's all boiled down to. The Three products that make up uh, the Daily Three system consist of 96 carefully chosen, globally sourced, pure organic ingredients to come together to make the Daily Three system. So everywhere around the planet, real quick, tomorrow, go find a purple carrot. Have a good time. But purple carrots are key in the purple food chain that we need to have in our blend. So all these unique fruits, go, go find me some noni fruit. You won't find it in where I live in Kentucky. Now, if you haven't lived in Hawaii, uh, you can find it. But it's a situation where it, you have to go around the planet to get these various products from the best possible source. And that's what our company does and then brings it all together in the Daily 3 system. So now, just to give you a little idea as well, oh, my, 96 things all around the world. This must cost a fortune. Well, I remember back when I was in my early 20s, I went to buy a helmet because I rode motorcycles and I was looking at helmets. And back then, um, a cheap one was three, $400. I'm like, what? Three, $400 for a helmet? Why are they so expensive? And I remember the sales guy come up to me and said, well, what's your head worth? Okay, I get it. Well, this is a the average, you know, the average cup of coffee in the United States, $4.90. Google it. You don't need to believe me. $4.90, the average cup of coffee. This with shipping, handling, tax, everything included. Kentucky, not all states charge tax. They don't tax, charge tax on food. Kentucky does. But we, my wife and I pay $180 for the daily three pack. Now we're on subscription. You might notice there. 
that says the subscription price is $155. That's the way that you get it the cheapest. Now, if you don't want to do a subscription, which means they're automatic, you don't even have to worry about it. it comes again next month. Oh, but I've had these before. What if I you know, decide for whatever reason I want to stop it? There's an 800 number you call. You don't have to go through a salesman. You don't have to go through a bunch of hype. Uh, matter of fact, you get a free back office. They go in there and you go to subscription, click and click stop. It's done. You don't have to worry about it. But if you don't want to do it, that's fine. It's $185 plus tax shipping and handling. And ever who your friend is that's invited to the call today, uh, they'll feel sorry for you for spending more than you have to, but they'll get over it because the $30 difference the company sends to them. What? You heard me. It isn't a profit that this company's making you got to pay retail the person that's sharing it with you gets that thirty dollars oh so if i did this too you mean i can make thirty dollars yeah you could you could talk about that another day another way but the point is think about it seven eight people that are using this product that they see the change in your health and all of a sudden you're also getting a little check every month that for all intents and purposes you can make your product free pretty cool well come on mike how many people has this really helped what how was it really done well i had the privilege of going to a a little conference that we had in uh, orlando florida back in march 26th of this year and here's what some of the people had to say about the microbiome, your gut. Although I knew about gut health, it just sealed within me the importance of gut health and why we have to have a healthy gut to maintain our daily lives. I found out what is the importance of it all, the importance of it all with that gut microbiome. And learning about the gut microbiome, now I know the gut does affect a lot of things, but knowing how much it affected the different aspects of my life, was the eye-opener for me. I've always heard the term over the years, healthy gut, but I didn't really know what that was. Well, now I know that uh, so many times over. About how the actual bad bacteria versus your good bacteria can actually cause damage. Well, personally, the energy part is what I love. My energy levels are up. Notice I don't need the amount of sleep that I used to need. I'm able to function pretty well at uh, six, seven hours a night. I have low energy during the day, so the fighter power itself gives me a boost. I take it midday, so when I take it midday in my smoothie, it keeps me going because I normally go fall asleep halfway through my work day. So now taking the fighter power gives me that boost to carry through my day. The actual balance gives me a lot of energy where I want to cut grass and I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> the products have given me an ease inside myself. My gut feels good. I don't have any bloating. I'm just happy because, and, and my, actually, my whole being is happier. I'm going to tell you the most important thing is I feel more calm and relaxed. It's helped other things. I feel more calm, relaxed. I go about my duties during the day. I'm focused on them, more clear. And um, I, that's very, very important to me. The detox, it helps me at night, you know, to relax because I do stay up long hours, you know, waiting on a phone call from a team member or something. But it helps me to lay down and relax myself. I spoke to my barber and I'm actually, hair follicles that weren't dead are starting to regenerate. And so hair is starting to regrow. And I'm excited about that. I would tell them to Google whatever issue they have going on in their health. Just what I learned today. Just go in and Google gut microbiome and that issue. Whether it's Alzheimer's, diabetes, pain, whatever it is, that's what I would recommend they do because then they're gonna come back to me and want the product. Don't hesitate, take the test of products, become a product of the product. And once you do that, you'll want to share it with everyone you know and that you do. This is an opportunity to where you're coming home and you don't have to leave. 
You don't have to worry about nobody knocking on your door saying, hey, you in the wrong business. No, I'm not. I'm at home now. When people ask me, well, what is it that you do? I say, well, I'm fortunate enough to work with a company that imports 96 exotic fruits, vegetables, uh, herbs, and grains throughout the world. And it's a situation where these ingredients are all designed and harvested from all over the world to help with your gut. If you have any aspects of your life that's affected mentally, physically, spiritually, you, if you look at um, going through your day, something's wrong. Look to your gut and see how your stomach feels in the middle of the day, in the morning, in the evening. Try the product for 30 days and see what's the difference between the first month and the second month. And you will definitely see that the difference and it connects. Little things in your life will change slowly and steadily, but it will change. Get off the fence and just do it. It's the one thing that can change your life. And go love life. That's what we're doing. We're going and we're loving our life. And that's the end of that. <laughs>
Uh, that's also for blood pressure. The hydrochlorozide, that is also for blood pressure. Presugarol, that is because of my stents. It's a blood thinner to try to protect uh, from clotting. And they're saying that I'll be on some form of that uh, for the rest of my life. And then this statin is a statin, which is designed to just to slow down and, and um, less cholesterol so in your body. In addition to that, I was on up to 80 units a day of insulin. Uh, the R is rapid release and the N is for nighttime, but about 80 units a day. And then uh, actually January 31st, the first time I ever put Go Love Life in my body, I was out at the home office, the founders of this company. Um, they were, I was the very first person that they asked uh, to represent the company as they were launching. So I came home from Utah on 31st of January with the daily three. And so I started it when I got home. So most everybody else got theirs in February, but I went out to the home office because I was very privileged to be asked by the company uh, to represent them. So it's a situation where now May of this year, look what's happening. So I had to go back to the doctor because I was sent to the emergency room uh, because my blood sugar had dropped to 34. You can die when it hits 40. Mine was at 34. But look at what happened to my glucose when they tested all the way down. I mean, it, it's just unbelievable. And what was happening is the, my gut microbiome, as it was getting balanced, it was taking care of the things my body needed. And I was still hitting the insulin just the way I always had. And I was doing the same thing with the blood pressure medicine, not always checking my blood pressure and popping the blood pressure pills because i had been doing them for years. You know, that's what did I know? And the story I want to tell you about that is when you start on this product, please stay in touch with your doctor. Maybe go get some labs done before you start so that you have a, a gauge so that you can monitor and then go again at, at, the, at the end of the month. Go every month for a couple, three months uh, and find out what the labs are saying so that you don't have uh, what happened to you? I mean, 911 got called. I went to the hospital in an ambulance because my blood sugar had crashed so bad. So there's the final comments that was made after that uh, time that I went for the blood work in May. Uh, now it's changed even since then because it was about a month after this. This was all in May. So uh, June and July, uh, I'm now uh, off Lipitor completely. I don't take it at all. Uh, the Carvedilol, I'm now on um, 3.25, uh, that twice a day, uh, and then the, high, the hydrothiazide or whatever it is, gone. I don't have to take that anymore. The presugarol is still at the 10 milligrams, and the uh, adervastatin is now, instead of 80, it's 20. Uh, so, and if you notice here, my A1C is below 7, and now this was back in May. Uh, so I'm looking forward to in the next month or two going again to, to get blood work done because I want to see where it's at now. Uh, my weight when I started on this product was um, 243. And as of today, it's 210. So it's a situation where the gut microbiome is the secret. So our message here is very, very simple. Is there one thing that you can do every day to achieve optimal health? The answer is Definitely, yes. One thing, just do it every day and watch your life change. Two side effects that I personally found. One is better health. Number two is let other people, when they ask you about it, don't be, don't be selfish. Share it with them and the company will actually send you a little thank you check instead of paying TV, radio ads, and uh, your national bank can grow. That's the only two side effects that I know of. So how does it taste? Well, I'm a proud grandpa. Here, ask Noah. Well, it must not taste that bad. Two-year-old Noah loves it. 
So again, you're talking about a minimal investment in your health. And it's a situation where if you'll do a couple other things along with the product, like pay attention a little bit better to what you eat, get a little bit of exercise, at least walk, get around, stay moving a little bit. It's just, it's changed my life. Literally it's changed my life. That's all I got.